won't have any more, Vera, dear. No, thank you, dear. Now, all of us at the Sycamores are going to watch On Golden Pond at six o'clock. I don't think that can be right, dear. On Golden Pond isn't on tonight. Maybe you're getting a little confused in your old age, Vera, dear. No, Eleanor, dear. I know it's not on television tonight, but at the Sycamores, we do, of course, have a video recorder. Oh, do you? Yes. I think maybe I'll have a little more tea. <laughs> we also have teapots with spouts that don't dribble. <laughs> I'll have you know, dear, that this teapot is an antique. Really? Oh, well. <laughs> Takes one to know one. <laughs> Most amusing. <laughs> no, I'm sure from everything you say that the, the sycamores is quite delightful. These eventide homes are ideal places for elderly people whose families have abandoned them. Oh, I, I don't think my family... I've always a, thought a, it might be easier if I went into an old people's home, but Sarah just won't hear of it. You know, I'm so lucky to have a daughter who worships the ground I walk on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What on earth does the old bat want now? <laughs> female creature whose face turns people to stone. I beg your pardon, Claire. It's this competition, winner holiday in Greece. Questions about Greek mythology and what have you. Oh, thank goodness for that. You had me worried for a moment there. Well, come on. Hideous female creature, face turns people to stone, six letters. You should know that, Claire. Begins with a G. Coming, Mother! Not Granny, is it? <laughs> Close. No, Claire, it's Gorgon. Oh, right. Before you go, there's another one. I think I've got it right, but I just want to check. The clue's tasty Greek letter. Tasty Greek letter? Mm. What do you put? Beater. <laughs> beater? Why? <laughs> well, you have a food beater, don't you? So, when you want to whip up something tasty... You use a food beater. Yes. <laughs> well, it's an idea, Claire. <laughs> it's right. Well, let's say it's not what I'd put. Well, what would you put? Pie. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think just a little bit further along. Yes, Mother. <laughs> How about that? Mm. No, it doesn't work. No, I think you'd better just put it back. <laughs> just put it back? Yes, please, dear. Right. <laughs> you know, I think the problem may be that bookcase. So that I can see the effect, could you just push the bookcase out of the way? Just push the bookcase out of the way. Uh, yes, dear, that's right, dear. Fine. The answer may well be to get rid of the bookcase altogether. What would you do with the books? Well, get rid of those, too. But those are Daddy's books, all his old detective stories. They must have some sentimental value for you. Good heavens, no. Your father regarded a book simply as something to bury his head in when I wanted to talk to him. <laughs> it's no good. I can't shift it. Never mind. You can have the books if you like, dear. Really? Goodness, yes. I don't want rubbish like that. Well, thanks. <laughs> yes, the book is out of the way. There'll be room down there by the television. What for? Oh, I see, Mother. You're still hankering after that video machine. So that you can watch on Golden Pond whenever you feel like it. Oh, not just on Golden Pond, dear. There are plenty of other films I'd like to see. Like Confessions of a Swedish Schoolmistress, for instance. <laughs> oh, no, dear. I've absolutely no interest in the Swedish educational system. <laughs> Yes, thought you'd like to have a look through. Know how you feel about detective stories. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, you're quite right. Nothing I like better than a well-stabbed dowager in an English country house with lots of suspicious suspects. And the poison unknown to medical science and the police are baffled. Exactly. Lovely. Oh, Russell, before I forget, can you complete this quote? I fear the Greeks even when they offer a blank. Gifts. Virgil. Of course. Thank you. It's this competition that Claire's doing. Win a fortnight on a Greek island with the Greek god of your choice. Really? Yes. Well, except for the Greek god, unfortunately. Otherwise, I might have a go. Oh, dear. 
I wish there was a competition around where the prize was a video recorder. Oh, well, and I hasn't forgotten about that, then. Mother never forgets about anything, Russell. Well, except her precise age. She does have a little tactical amnesia about that. But her mind is still set on that video recorder. Oh, yes. You see, anything Vera Poling has, Mother has to have too. Unfortunately, Vera Poling has money and Mother doesn't. Oh, dear, hasn't she got anything valuable she could sell? Don't think so. Russell, has anybody ever told you you're brilliant? Well, not for an hour or so, no. <laughs> How about this one, Granny? I fear the Greeks even when they offer blank. Terra Masalata. <laughs> what? Well, I certainly fear them when they offer it to me. Disgusting stuff. <laughs> Still, I'm not sure. I don't know. Come in, Sarah, dear. Evening, Mother. Hello, Claire, love. How are you doing? I've got a few more. Oh, that clue, incidentally, about fearing the Greeks even when they offer blank. Mm -hmm. We've got that one, thank you, dear. It's gifts. Well, I think our answer was better. <laughs> the clue does only say five letters, actually, Granny. Oh. Oh, look, I must dash. I'm meeting a friend for a drink at seven. Who? Greek god? Oh, I should be so lucky. Bye. I still don't think gifts is as good as the answer I came up with. Never mind that, Mother. Listen, I've worked out how you can get your video recorder. Huh. By selling the one valuable possession you have. But I can't sell that. Why not? I've left it to you in my will. <laughs> what? My will is very specific. You are to have that teapot. Well, look, I don't mind about it, honestly. I mean, if it's really valuable, you sell it. I think it's hideous. Hideous? <laughs> oh, but Sarah, think of all the cups of tea you've had out of that teapot. All the spilt cups of tea, the spout dribbles. Nonsense. <laughs> I must say, Sarah, I'm very disappointed in you, in how callous and unfeeling you're being. I'm not being callous and unfeeling, Mother. I'm just saying I've never liked that teapot. I don't want it, so if it's valuable, why don't you sell it and use the money to buy yourself a video? Oh, so that's what you think I should do, is it? Yes. Why, what do you think you should do? I think, Sarah, that I should get on to my solicitors and change my will. <laughs> Am I to gather that you've been talking to your mother again? <laughs> mm. One growl for yes, two growls for no, is that it? So how is the Great Will saga? Don't ask. All I get all day long is my solicitors this, my solicitors that. Honestly. What makes it so pathetic is that she really hasn't got anything to leave. Mind you, to hear her talk, you'd think she was Howard Hughes. So, does this mean you're going to be cut off without a penny? No. I think I stand a good chance of being cut off without a teapot. Yeah. Was that the only specified item she was going to leave? No, I also stand to inherit a peculiarly pompous glass-fronted dresser. I say. And, and its contents. Wow. <laughs> Come in. Granny. Mummy said you wanted to see me. Yes, dear. Sit down, Claire. This all seems very formal. Is there something important? Yes, dear. Very important. Oh. You see, dear, I've been thinking. I'd like you to have something after I've gone. Well, where are you going? <laughs> no, Claire, I mean when I'm not here. Oh, you mean when you're dead? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> You see, dear, I'd like to leave you something in my will, something beautiful, something to remind you of me. Oh, I don't think there's any danger of my forgetting you. Oh. No, once met, never forgotten you are. <laughs> and uh, are you asking me what I'd like? In a way, yes. Um, oh, can I have your big toenail clippers? Because they really get the horny bits off, don't they? <laughs> yes, Claire, I'm sure you can have my toenail clippers, but I was thinking in terms of something more personal. Well, like what? You know what this is? It's a teapot. Ah, but what kind of teapot? A teapot whose spout dribbles. <laughs> Claire, that teapot was bought by Jack Prescott, your grandfather's great-grandfather. He was very big in cardboard boxes. <laughs> and Jack Prescott always bought the best of everything. Oh, you mean this teapot's valuable? Extremely valuable. Oh, 
Oh, yes, you, you know, I was only joking about it, actually. You know, I've always thought it's a very beautiful teapot. Now, I'd always intended that the teapot should go to your mother in my will, and then, presumably, in her will, she'd leave it to you. But since your mother seems totally insensitive to any sentimental value it may have, I think it would be best if the teapot came straight to you. Cut out the middleman, you mean? Uh, <laughs> yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Well, thank you, Granny. Yes, and then I'd like to think that when I'm sitting up there on a cloud, I'll be able to look down and see you making tea in that teapot every day, just as I always have. Well, thank you, Granny. I'd be delighted to have it. And I will make tea in it every day. Uh -oh. And I'll think of you every time the spout dribbles. <laughs> I don't know. It's like having an audience with the Pope. <laughs> Anyway, that seems to me a very satisfactory solution. Yes. You really don't mind? Well, to be quite honest, I still think it would have made more sense for you to sell the thing, and then you have a bit of cash. Sarah, you're not jealous, are you, that Claire's going to have that teapot? No, of course I'm not, Mother. I mean, you'll still have this dresser. And its contents. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. As for the rest of my stuff, well... I might leave it to a cat's home. You, you don't like cats? No. Maybe to a dog's home, then. <laughs> You're not that keen on dogs. No. It's just that I'd like to leave it to some cause that's always been close to my heart. In that case, I suggest you leave it to an emotional blackmailer's home. <laughs> Sarah, you're not being very gracious about this. No, Mother, I agree I'm not. And has it occurred to you why I'm not being very gracious about it? Well, I assume it's just because you haven't got a very gracious nature. No, as a matter of fact, Mother, that isn't the reason. I'm reacting like this because it upsets me to hear you harping on all the time about what's going to happen when you die. Oh, really, dear? <laughs> that upsets you. Well, dear, when I do die, I don't want a big funeral. I don't want to cause any trouble after I've gone. Why not, Mother? I mean, why change the habits of a lifetime just because I'm dead? <laughs> things. Closing date for the competition is the end of the week. How are you doing? Only a few more to go and one or two answers I'm not quite sure about. Like? The mighty divine Greek musician. Well, that should be Apollo. Ah. What did you put, Claire? Demis Roussos. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure about my answer to Greek who caused a rumpus when he ran off with a queen. Well, as long as you haven't put Prince Philip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Claire! It was Paris who ran off with Helen and started the Trojan War. Um, Claire. About the teapot. What teapot? The teapot Granny's leaving you because you're so sentimentally attached to it. Oh, that teapot. Are you sentimentally attached to it? I suppose. Well, well, it's been in the family a long time. You know, it was brought by the king of the cardboard boxes, Jack Prescott. Yes, I, I know about that. The question is, what would you do with it if you did get it? Sell it as soon as possible. <laughs> well, it's hideous. And the spout dribbles. I'd much rather have the cash. Then I could stop doing these stupid competitions and pay for myself to go to Greece. So it's actually the cash that you're sentimentally attached to? Well, no, I didn't. I didn't... <laughs> Listen, Claire, um... This is slightly difficult to say because I, I, I don't want to sound as if I'm jealous of you having the teapot. I promise you, I genuinely do not want it. Nor do I. I want the money. But <laughs> Granny needs the money. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> Granny hasn't got any money, but she's set her heart on buying a video. Has she? Mm. Well, I didn't know that. Oh, well, no question. She must sell the teapot. 
But if Granny's managed to convince herself that you're having it is a good idea, how are you going to make her change her mind? Ah, uh, that's no problem. I'll just tell her that you think it's a good idea, too. That'll put her off. Ah! <laughs> Eureka! Claire got that one. What? In the competition. It was one of the answers. No, no, I say Eureka because I have just found the solution to Eleanor's problem. Which one of Eleanor's problems? Her stubbornness problem? Her emotional blackmail problem? Her being a nosy old bat problem? No, her teapot problem. Look, Crowther's auctioneers are holding an open day down here. Oh, you mean where anyone can take along their treasures and have them valued? Exactly. Next Tuesday. Couldn't be better. Good. Well, once she's had the thing valued, the whole drama will be over. I don't think you could ever count on any of Mother's dramas actually being over. Oh, come on. This one's subsiding already. I mean, she's stopped going on about changing her will all the time, hasn't she? Yes, but I have a horrible feeling that as one door closes on my solicitors, another is about to open on my auctioneer. <laughs> <laughs> dear. Just popped in to say I'm off to see my auctioneers. <laughs> well, good luck with your auctioneers. I hope it's worth millions. We shall see. Well, I must be off. Mother, you won't forget actually to take the teapot, will you? I've got it with me, Sarah, dear. Have you where? In there? <laughs> That's Daddy's French horn case, Mother. Why? Well, you see, dear, I didn't want to carry anything that would show the shape. There are a lot of muggers around, and if they saw someone carrying something obviously Georgian teapot-shaped, well, one might be at risk. Yes. Of course, I dare say there are muggers around who might reckon a French horn was quite valuable. Oh, dear. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> The workmanship is quite excellent. Value, oh, anything in the region of, um, 200 guineas, I would say. Oh, Congratulations. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, next. Uh, good morning, madam. Good morning. Uh, I'm afraid I'm an antique dealer, madam, not a band leader. <laughs> I'm well aware of that, young man. Will you kindly wait until you see what it is I require you to value? Uh, very well. It's a teapot. Yes, madam. I've been in the antique business long enough to recognize that. Hmm. It's reproduction. I beg your pardon? It's reproduction. Young man, that teapot has been in my late husband's family for three generations. It was bought by Jack Prescott, the cardboard box magnet. Very well. He bought a reproduction. Are you telling me that that is not a Georgian silver teapot? Yes, madam. I am telling you that this is a Victorian silver-plated teapot. Oh. I don't suppose the possibility has occurred to you that you might be wrong. Madam, I have been in the antique trade for over 20 years. Richard II ruled England for over 20 years. It doesn't mean he was any good at it. <laughs> well, if you're going to be offensive... All right. Now, just supposing for a moment that... Your opinion of this piece is correct. What sort of price would we be talking about? Well, I suppose a junk shop might give you a fiver. <laughs> a fiver? Mm, I don't know, though. That would be, of course, if it were in perfect condition. The spout looks a bit bent. I'll bet that dribbles. Dribbles? <laughs> yes, dribbles. Doesn't it? Certainly not. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh. Great. The murder of Roger Ackroyd. Do you know, I've never read that. Oh, that's one, the one where the murderer turns out... Don't you sorry, dare. Sorry, 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 sorry. I think you'll enjoy it, though. It's one of Daddy's favourites. Nothing he liked better of an evening than mulling over a good murder. Yes. Well, you can understand that, being married to Eleanor, can't you? Russell! <laughs> Hello, Mother. Hello, Russell. Morning, Eleanor. I'm just passing, and I... I thought I'd drop in. Did you see your auctioneers? Oh, yes, yes. 
Well, come on, don't keep us in suspense. How much are you going to get for it? Do you know, dear, it hardly matters because just at the moment the young man was telling me its value, I, I suddenly realised how much it meant to me. Oh. I couldn't bring myself to sell that teapot, Sarah, however much it was worth, so I'm going back to my original plan. You mean leaving it to me? Yes. Then when I'm gone, if you want to sell it, well, that's up to you. You're welcome to all the money you can get for it. <laughs> I won't be here to, to be saddened. Mother, I don't want you. I no, don't... Sarah, don't say anything. It's just that I've come to realise that there are times when one has to put sentimental attachments above mere financial considerations. Goodbye, Sarah, dear. Russell. Poor old thing. She obviously really cares about that teapot. Rubbish! <laughs> what? I can spot Mother saving face at 500 yards. Her auctioneer has told her the teapot was worthless. Sure. Absolutely positive. Oh, dear. Poor old boot. No video for her. She didn't possess anything really valuable after all. No. Oh. You, on the other hand, Sarah, do possess something extremely valuable. What? in working order, Mummy. Oh, good. Granny's as pleased as punch. It was very kind of you to give her the money from the book. She did give them all to you, you know. Oh, don't be silly. She wasn't to know Daddy had a first edition of Sherlock Holmes. No, still. Oh, incidentally. Yes, love? I heard about that holiday in Greece competition today. What happened? I was one of the prize winners. Oh, Claire, that's wonderful. How marvellous. Oh, girl. no. You see, I only want a runner-up prize. What was it? A Damas Roussos cassette. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, old oh, Claire. Bad luck. Well, you can't win them all. Nope. And at least Granny's got her video. Yes, is she watching it now? Oh, you bet. She invited Vera Poling round specially, and she asked me to get her something from the video shop. What, on Golden Pond? Um, no, not exactly. 